rocks failed me a little bit from the start. I mean, not totally, but it's took me round in circles and wasted about half an hour going through bracken that wasn't even a trail, so. I'm not sure it's a space or a hole, but I think we're good. Well, not gonna lie, proper buzzing for this one. Hi, welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back if you've been here before. We've literally just finished work. It's Sunday, it's two o'clock, and I've got 24 hours before I'm back at work, but I'm definitely not gonna go a full week without a sneaky little car cam and a blast around some countryside. So, I've earmarked an absolute classic for this one. Never been there before in my life. It's called The Roaches. It's in kind of the southwest area of Derbyshire. And to go with it, I've got two prime locations for a car cam tonight. First gonna be downside from The Roaches, basically going to get there scope it out and if it seems cool i'm going to stay there and the second i have to admit i've been back on the park for night out and i found what kind of looks like in some sense a good spot and in other senses like a scene out of a horror movie i'll show you what i mean so it's in a place called Meerbrook on an unnamed road, only a couple of miles down from the roaches and it says parking in the middle of nature on a small hill very nice all-round view only meadows fields and heather and if i look at the pictures it really does look pretty stunning, really green and really lush. But look at it on Google Earth. I don't know why. I think it's just this brownie sort of area here that gives me it. But I'm getting a vision of American Werewolf in London, the start of the movie. And because of that, I just figure if I park up down here, there's only enough space for one car. If I have that rolling around in my head all night, I'm going to be in bits. Well, like I say, if the roaches is not cool, then it looks like we're going to risk it for a biscuit down in the horror movie scene. On top of that, oh, pretty excited. I've got a funky little upgrade for the car that's gonna be an absolute game changer in terms of music. I've finally gone out and bought what somebody recommended in the comments section on one of my videos. Big thumbs up for that one, big kudos. A Bluetooth dongle that links my phone to my piece of shit car radio so I can now choose what music I want to listen to. And along with it, I've actually downloaded a nice sneaky little dab radio app. So we've got about 200 channels of music to choose from. I've also downloaded another little funky app, which might be a real bonus in terms of the hiking that we do. This is the website version, but it's basically a trail map that you can use for hiking, biking, mountain biking, road cycling, and running. And you can basically search anywhere you want. I'm assuming it's just in the UK, but it may be worldwide. I haven't tested it yet. I'm going to search for the roaches. And it comes up with a number, and I do mean a serious number of tours around Staffordshire. 2,728 to be total. So what I do like about it is the fact that not only do you get a massive choice of routes around the areas that you're going to go to, but each route has pictures and so some details on the highlights and things that you're going to see along the route, along with all the normal sort of details that you expect, timing and distance so forth. So we're just going to have to test it out and see how good it actually is. So we've got upgrades, we've got everything ready to rumble, and I've also done a sneaky little rumble to Audi to pick up a few little bits yesterday. So all in all, it seems really organized and ready to go. I can't believe I'm this organized this time around. What could possibly go wrong? I guess we're gonna find out when we get there. But we've got 70 miles of road to burn and we've got our own choice of music to go with. So I think it's about time to put our foot to the floor and burn some of those tires and get ourselves up to the roaches. So let's do it. <laughs> Bit of classic reggae to start it all off then. Gotta love it. Alright. Here comes the truck! No! Oh, disconnection! No! 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 This trip's got a good vibe already. Loving these tunes. Well, here we go then. Leak 
is where we're heading. We've followed a familiar trail so far, but I've never been to Leek. <laughs> a bit of a weird name for a place, but hey, it's Derbyshire, they've all got weird names. Oh, the old freezing cows, chilling in the field. Entering Blackshaw Moor then. Another weird name. And the caravan and camping clubs down here. Wow, epic. I think my dad used to be a member of that. Oh wow, if that's the roaches in front of me, I'm already pretty impressed. That's a big old jut of rock sticking up. That looks cool. Nice. Oh my days. The whole area around here is spectacular. Oh wow. I don't know if you're getting a shot of that, but. Heading to Upper Holm then. On what's going to be a steep little road, no doubt. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, second gear. Second gear doesn't want to go. Come on. You can do it. Whoa, this road looks really gnarly. The sat nav's got me doing U turns. Oi. Wow, what a little village. Look at this place. Oh, my days. It's like out of a. <laughs> like an oil painting. No way, there's a little waterfall thing there. Oh, wow. A little stream coming through the village. Well, oh, this is impressive. And a little old school industry by the looks of it. That's pretty mad. Like factories here on the left. Wow. Peak furniture. Ah, okay. Ah, oh, here we go. Dodgy, sketchy road. Wait for somebody to come the other way. Yep, hello. <laughs> Ugh. Oh no, no, first gear again. It's pretty steep. Aye. Car's not gonna last forever driving roads like this, I know that. Oh, feels like a good spot though. Like driving out nicely into the countryside here. Pretty cool. Feels a little bit like the spot where we stayed at Thor's Cave. I mean, I'm gonna, it's gonna be different totally, but it feels a little that way. Wow, we're nearly there. We're two minutes away. Oh my days, look at the traffic. Oh, I'm never gonna find anywhere to park. Oh my God. There's a whole field of cars on my left. Oh no. Yeah, we ain't never finding a space here. Ay ay ay. Oh my days, you've got to be shitting me. Oh, oh, whoa, damn. I'm not sure it's a space or a hole, but I think we're good. I'm having some of that. Whoa. So I'm not going to lie, this place looks pretty sweet already. you got to check this out, look. They're like all rocky outcrops all the way along the ridge there. So it looks like some pretty sweet hiking to be had. Obviously, this spot's not exactly where I'm going to stay for the night. There's probably about half a mile, three quarters of a mile's worth of parking up the way. So once I get up top, I can check out where's a better space. And also, in a couple of hours, I'm assuming most people are going to uh, skidaddle back home. So I'm not going to mess about. We've got a few hours of light. I'm going to get the hiking boots on, get the trail up out. Let's see what we can see. Good to go, so let's do it. So this is pretty cool actually, if we're looking at the app, uh, there's the figure of eight that we're looking at for the whole trail, and I actually thought we were kind of around number 11 there, but we're actually at the bottom, which makes it easier to start, so literally, just got to walk a couple of hundred metres and turn right and we're on the trail, so, good to go. Wow, check out how sweet the scenery into the valley is behind me to start off with. Not a bad start, pretty good. Well, I think we made a good move not driving up here. It's absolutely ramming. We're actually parking for the roaches, but uh, 
hopefully some of them will go home soon and we'll get a spot for the night because that looks pretty nice I might actually end up staying there huh? come here then come say hello oh don't be shy oh come say hello nah. oh into his field <laughs> ah, beautiful surroundings but unfortunately this trail we're doing is an intermediate which means um, we got hills to hike up and the first one already I'm only a couple of hundred meters in I let's sweat it out then all the way up that little puppy dog hey every time nothing's downhill always uphill oh man I guess the views are good at the top <laughs> Oh, choice route then. Through where the river used to run, I think. Pretty steep, but I shouldn't really mind. Uh, and I'm stood next to rock climbers. Oh dear. Oh man, and the sun's coming out. Nice. So I'm not going to lie, that app's failed me a little bit from the start. I mean, not totally, but it's took me round in circles and wasted about half an hour going through bracken that wasn't even a trail so I'm just kind of following my own instinct and the trail that's obviously here Let's see how we go well there's two trails here there's the one over that way which everyone's taking and there's the one behind me which the app's telling me to take I'm not convinced with this app well the hike was worth it the views are stunning pretty dang sweet Ah, nice. Funny. All I can hear is like a few muffled voices and some chink chinks of climbing gear. Pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> well, the good news is we're at the pine forest that I saw on the app. The bad news is it was the first thing on the app and we're about two hours in, so that doesn't bode well. We could be here all night. Ooh, nice little drop. Good 50 meters. You get no perspective on a camera. Wow, wow. Nice little views. Little rays of sun coming out. Teasing. So that app's got a load of things and points to check out along the route. And the first one was called Doxy Pool. I was expecting some sort of lake and, um, well, that's it. <laughs> it's kind of like a bog in a marshy area. Um, it is kind of quaint though, it is kind of cool, but uh, it is sludgy and muddy. <laughs> Doxy pool everybody. Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, the sun's starting to come out and everything's starting to look seriously lush. Wow, oh, nice. Perfect timing. Beautiful. I'm not being funny and I've not got the best camera for it, but I've got to tell you, the landscape round here is stunning. Look at this like bracken colours, purples, and the rocks, a few more bits of bracken, rocks, trees, rolling hills. It really is stunning. And then we've got a lake over yonder, which I keep panning and showing you, but yeah, it's just beautiful. People had said the roaches were impressive. And like I say, I've never ever been here before, but uh, yeah, I'm impressed. <laughs> it's nice, real nice. I mean, it feels a little bit like Stanage Edge, but better, I'd say. A lot better. A lot more lush and green and, oh, I mean, that sun cutting through those clouds over there, down into the valley just looks, yeah, it's like an oil painting. It's beautiful. So from what the Komu app's telling me, this ridge line of rocks all the way along here is what's called the roaches. I think that's like number two or something. And over yonder, We've got the next one, which is a sneaky little tree point, so I think we'll go and give that a bit of a slap and tickle. So, trick point then, I think this is supposed to be the highest point of the roaches, I'm not entirely sure. Normally you'd expect the best views, but it's been good views all the way along here, actually. But, um, I guess it's pretty, pretty sweet over the back. Proper Derbyshire Dales there. With all the lush colours and so forth. Pretty nice. 
So we're at a bit of a decision point to be honest. We're at the uh, middle of figure of eight on the app. Behind me is Low Church and all the other bits and then down that way it's back to the car. It's about half past five now so I figure like if I go that way it's going to take me another three hours back to the car. It's going to be at least another hour. So to be honest I think I'm going to head back to the car and cook up some food. I'm getting absolutely starving so providing the app don't get me lost we should be back in the car in about an hour. Dang, there's a few little lay-bys and a few doable spots for the, uh, parking the car up around here, but there's absolutely no phone signal, so I'd have no live TV. But to be fair, I'm not entirely sure I'm going to get any TV anywhere here. Everywhere I've hiked, there's like a snippet of signal, but just not enough. Could be an absolute travesty not being able to check up on the football tonight, but I guess I'll get a nice early night. Well, we had the look, the app didn't get us lost on the way back, but to be fair, I followed the road rather than where the app told me. I was just wondering whether that app's any good or not. I think because you can download maps offline, so even if you've not got a signal, you can still sort of follow the trail. It's pretty good. And the fact that it shows you stuff before you're out there, like what's to see on the trail, I like that as well. But the fact that it lost me at the very, very start, the first time I used it, that was definitely a thumbs down. But... I think we've just got to try it a few more times and see how we go, and we'll know for sure. <sighs> well, the car looks good. I was worried I might have a ticket or something. <sighs> wow. Well nothing like a three hour hike to get the belly rumbling i am starving and i can't get a signal on my tv app around here i don't know what's going on everything else is working on the phone youtube etc but that's not so it looks like i'm out of luck with the football maybe until later so more importantly i think what i'm going to do is drive off and find a pretty good spot because there's better views from where i am now up the way that i've already seen and then cook up a feast, get the belly full, and take it from there. So, let's move the car. Let's do it. Oh, well, there's a ton of lay bars around here, but I think this one here, with nobody else around, is going to be the spot. And it's got a pretty pucker view. Let me just get out and I'll show you. Oh, dear. Well, I've just moved the car around because I don't want anyone pulling up behind me while I'm cooking, but uh, not a bad little view to cook with. But more importantly, I think, hey, I'm going to have to uh, get all that little lot set up. So if only it was that easy. But dinner should be relatively easy because even though I thought Audi had run out of things to do us, we are now got a Chinese chicken stir fry for tonight. Rawr. And... Got another one of these rices. A few people in the comments mentioned that uh, I don't need to boil it up. I can cook it like um, straight in the frying pan. I don't know if you can see that, but you can just like fry it up. So that's probably what I'm going to try tonight. So let's see how we go. Oh, that smells good already. Obviously, that's all marinated, so... Mwah. Oh, there's a lot of it again. Nowza! Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I think that might need cutting up a little bit. <laughs> like one big lump. Well, that's looking pretty well cooked. I think it's time to get the... Ah, oh, I'm burning man. Get the old veggies in. Oh... Shouldn't put my hand on a hot frying pan. Never a good idea. Oh, wait. Got to remember the sauce. <laughs> Always forget the sauce. Oh, just trying to squeeze the last bit of the sauce out of this. It's so good. Proper sweet and sour sauce. I know without even tasting this, this is going to be my favourite meal. Oh man, I'm gonna miss the plate. <laughs> ah, we got it. Um, yeah. 
Let's try this rice then. This is a splash of oil, but we already got sauce in there, so I don't know. Let's see how it goes. I guess it's just going to end up brown and sludgy from the sauce of the what we put in there already, but ah, let's do it. <laughs> it's a solid lump. Oh, freaking eh? Oh, this is random. It's going everywhere as well. What? Ah, oh, this is not good. What? It says to break it down with a fork, but it's just flicking everywhere. Oh man, it's all over my car. No, stop jumping out. I'm not convinced with this. I can't even tell if it's cooking because it's like sucked up the juice from the uh, from the sauce, so it's gone brown. So it looks like it's cooked, but it's still cold. Yeah. Says you got to keep stirring it. So let's keep stirring. Seems a lot more hassle than actually boiling it, to be fair. But you know, it's different. Boiled rice, fried rice. I thought I'd give it a go. I think I'm going to mix it with everything else. Oh. Oh, get in there. All right, let's get it served up in it. I could almost just eat it off the uh, frying pan to be fair as normal, but oh well. Ah, oh, don't, don't, don't. Ay, I missed the plate, as always. Hey, all over my floor. <laughs> You've been picking rice off my floor for weeks. Oh, I can hear the sheep barring. Pretty sweet view, pretty sweet spot. And a pretty tasty looking munch. Right, let's test it out. Any good or not? Bit of chicken. Mmm. Really nice. Sweet and sour. I knew it was going to be good. I always like sweet and sour. The only problem I've got, as always, it's a meal for two. Maybe one day someone's going to join me. <laughs> but probably not. <laughs> and to be fair, they'd have to be pretty small to fit in the back of the car anyway, so... Right, time to enjoy the view, the food, and get a bit of YouTube on, I think, this time. Foresty Forest. Check him out on YouTube. Does car camping slash van life videos. Really chilled, really cool. Well worth a watch. Oh. Coffee and a trifle then, pretty good. Gotta be honest, I'm not too sure why I bought trifles. I'm not really that keen on jelly, but uh, I guess there's a lot of cream in there. But more importantly, gotta be honest, this spot feels pretty good. Just standing outside, it's all nature, cows and sheep going away, and you can hear the wind a little bit. It feels really nice, the scenery's nice. I've got my fingers crossed it's gonna be a safe spot for the night, and I think. Basically, I'm going to eat, drink, watch a movie, and then get my head down for the night. And I'll see you guys, hopefully, in the morning. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, my days. Oh, I've had a nice lion. Oh, dear. 9.30 in the morning, and... Ooh. Bit grey, but uh, what a great view. Wow, nice. Oh. time nice so the original plan this morning was to get up early and hike up the hill and have another little look around but i gotta tell you after a long week at work it was amazing to have nine hours sleep in the car great night's sleep no problems no passing traffic and i'm probably going to give this place about a 4.5 stars because even with all that i had a phone reception as well so i was able to check the football late last night so pretty much a perfect spot I'm actually a little bit gutted. I wish I could spend the whole day here just chilling out and checking out the area a little bit more, but it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I got work in four hours and I need to pack up all that stuff. 
and get the heck out of Dodge and back to Leicester as soon as possible. So ah, it's a shame, but let's get it on. Ooh, well, I didn't have time to cook breakfast, but a friendly neighbor gave me a croissant, so there's a winner. All right, time to hit the road and get back to Leicester. Happy days. <laughs> have a great day guys, enjoy ya. Huh? Alright. Take care man, have a great day, huh? So a short and sweet one at the roaches then, but I gotta be honest, I'm really psyched that I went after a long week at work, going to the countryside into a place that I'd never been before and just exploring it and realizing that it's a great spot with great potential for other trips at a later date. I'm really chuffed with that. But for now, I've got a two hour drive and about 70 miles. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this one. As always, if you did, hit the like button, subscribe and hit me in the comments. And as always, take it easy, enjoy the camp and stay stealthy. Ah, home. See you in the next.